it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms and today we're going to work on getting this property to drain into the pond as much as we can. Right now we've got some muddy areas that are low-lying that hold water but are only 50 yards from the pond. So I've got 200 foot of French drain line and we're going to run some actual drain lines that dump into the pond. But for step one, this area behind me is right about at grade with the bank of the pond and in between there's a high spot so i think this is an ideal spot to just have a swale that runs from there to the pond i'm down here where i want the water from all of this low area to drain into the pond there's already kind of a cut out here this is where the deer consistently come in and out of the pond and so i'm going to direct all the water from this side of the property into this spot so I've got the transit level set right here, turned it on, it's spinning, that tells me it's level. We will we'll find the lowest point there, then we'll set this to where it reads as level with the base. Then we can use that for everything else to make sure that everywhere between there and here ends up being lower. And hopefully we can drop, you know, an inch every three or four feet at least an inch every 10 feet from that low point to the pond. So that means it's pretty, quite a bit high here, which is good. I was concerned that it was low here. All right, so that's why we have a transit level. So my eyes told me that we had a low spot down there. Now that is a low spot if you're going across this direction, it, it dips right there, but it's still about three inches higher there than it is here, which works out pretty well that we will start here, digging in about six inches and slowly bring it up to no drop at all up there. Then I'm gonna scoop out the dirt in between and hopefully we end up with a good swale. I think before I do that, I'm gonna mow that same strip so I'm not dealing with as much loose grass. I'm really glad I decided to mow that because it reminded me of another step that needs to be done in between. Where this fence line was over here Right where the fence sat, it's mounted up pretty much the whole length of this. And that's going to act like a dam for the water that already runs this way. And before I form this swale, I want to knock that ridge out the whole length of the fence line. And my next step for the swale was to put the tiller on. But rather than do that, now I can use the box blade that's already on there first knock that hump out, then get the tiller on. So I'll be right back with the tractor. I tried it first with just the blade. I was slowly pulling the dirt off that high spot, but it probably would have taken me three or four more passes down and back. I'm gonna try putting the rippers down and doing the same thing, see how that does. You wanna, you're gonna bring me a drink? How nice of you. What would I do without a good buddy like you to bring me drinks? Yeah. You know, bring it over here. Not in the bed though. You see these, how they're going to work when it goes across there? Those will dig into the ground. You think that'll be better?
after one pass with the rippers down, I made four or five more passes with the rippers up, and that did a pretty good job of smoothing this out. But I want to get back to what the video is about, and that's the swale. This is the kind of thing that's sort of hard to see on camera, but there was a hump in the middle right here, and I've taken that out about 90%. I think if this was dry dirt that would roll better in the box blade, it would have smoothed out better. But this wet dirt wasn't rolling to the side and then falling in the low spots. So all I was doing was scraping off the high spots, not smoothing the way a box blade should. Anyway, we're gonna go get the tiller and we're gonna start making that swale. One of the chains came off for the cover for the PTO drive shaft. I try to maintain those and when they break, I fix them, but I don't rush out and do it right away because I don't think it's that big of a deal in terms of your actual safety. So I'll pick one up the next time I'm in town. After tilling up the dirt where the swale is going, obviously I needed to get the dirt out of the way, so I did that with the bucket and the box blade, but I needed somewhere to put it. So I brought the dump trailer over so that every time I needed to move some dirt, I didn't have to drive so far. My plan here is to dig as much dirt out of the center of this double wide tilled area so that there is a low spot in the middle and a higher spot on the edge. That way when I drive down this trench with one tire in the low spot and one in the high spot and drop the box blade, I can create a slope. But before I do anything else, what I need to know right now is, are we grading downward? Because if we have a downward grade, right now, the water would run into that, and that is a low spot already, 
and if we have a downward grade it would work the way it is so first we'll establish the grade and then if if needed I'll grade it a little more if not I'll just dig out the center all right so we're set for this spot right here as being our reference let's come down here I know we're considerably lower here so within three feet of the pond water we have a pretty steep slope that it's dropping it's dropping really quickly we wouldn't want that the whole way but we definitely want it right here at the pond Starting at the low spot and working up, it's harder to tell how far you're off. So I went up to the top, reset the stick, and then started coming back to see how far the stick is off the ground. So grade at that end is above my knee at this end. And it seems like a pretty steady slope. If that's a 120 foot run and we have two foot of drop, you have two inches of drop for every 10 feet, which is almost what they call for on like a sewer drain line. So it should be plenty sufficient to get water to run down this. I am gonna still scoop the center out some, but we've established a grade and we've removed a lot of dirt. As the drone comes down towards the tractor, you're gonna see that I'm doing what I described earlier with one set of tractor wheels in the low side and one set of wheels up on the high side. The result is I start to get stuck in the mud here a little bit and the tractor's already leaning so it felt like it was trying to tip. Luckily, the box blade and the bucket were already pretty low to the ground and then I just used the bucket to push the tractor back, lift up and push back. I had to do this a couple different times as I kept trying to go through there, but where the two dirt paths crossed each other was a muddy area. That is still the method that got us the swale primarily was riding down at an angle like that. I could have angled the box blade more but I really wanted to primarily run in one direction for both sides. I did a little bit of digging from the side with the bucket to make it even more pronounced in terms of the height difference between the two sets of wheels. I'm sure there's about a hundred ways to do this that might be quicker or easier, so feel free to tell me about it in the comments. Although there's no rule against being polite when you tell us, that way other people can learn from your knowledge. This is a situation where it would have been really nice to have a 
top and tilt set up. I have the top cylinder, but I don't have the tilt cylinder. And if I did, I could have made these passes more aggressive. But I just made about 10 passes like this on each side, and it deepened the swell each time. All right, well, I haven't looked at any of this footage. I hope it comes across that I now have about a foot drop to the center of this. That's fairly gradual. It's not perfect, it's not exactly smooth, but I had 100% I have a consistent grade from that end to this end, and I have a grade from each direction. It should funnel water down here. If anything, I'm hoping that if it rains tonight like they forecast, that it washes this out just a little bit more. I'd like to have it just a little bit more of a smooth slope down on each side. But I'm also happy I've leveled out where the hump was, where I removed the fence. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of drainage projects on the property, actually on that side of the house, down the driveway, down the fence over here, more running to the pond, expanding the pond to catch what runs down this way. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of this, and this was my first large swale like this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you taking time to watch. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen right here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.